YouTube, hey, hello, how you doing? I go by the name of Mike T, and today I'm bringing you a brand new video. Now, a new pair of shoes just landed on my doorstep. Um, they're actually about a month late. I was actually early on these shoes. I got a notification from Soul Retriever, one of the apps that I tell you to follow on Twitter. Also, they do have their own app. They sent me that push notification that Soulfly dropped these shoes. I was hoping to be one of the earliest ones and also give me an early review. But, you know, Soulfly decided to take their time with shipping. So here we are um, basically a month later and they finally landed on my doorstep. But regardless, I still wanted to give you a review and just kind of show you what I think of the shoes, initial thoughts and just kind of the unboxing and just kind of give you that experience. So um, starting off right off the packaging, this is kind of similar to an Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott. It's packaged almost exactly the same, but before we dive right into it, let me go ahead and give you a little bit of background on the shoe because um, it may be a little bit kind of newer to a lot of the people um, watching if you don't follow Soulfly. So Soulfly is a local sneaker shop based out of Miami and um, they take you into the backcountry this season with the fierce rendition of the Air Jordan 1 low. Inspired by the carnivore wildlife of Florida Everglades, the toe box is debossed. The hill counter feature ferocious patterns with bold black and sport red color blocking. A subtle nod to the Nike SB Dunk Low Bison. If you don't know what that is, I'll post a picture here. And also the latest Jordan brand collab, Soulfly, takes the Air Jordan 1 into an environment. Um, there may not be basketball courts in the Florida swamps, just nature's will to win. So that is kind of the little backstory as to what this shoe looks like and where it was kind of originated from. Like I said, this is not their first uh, collaboration that they've done with Jordan Brand. They've actually done quite a few before. And initially the price kind of dips, you know, when the shoe releases, but over time it does go up. But regardless of all that, we're gonna go ahead and take a deep dive right into the shoe. Now starting off, with the packaging here as you can see on the back it does feature this clear kind of plastic um, cover to the box and it does have that frosted soul fly that you can see there um, on that box on the clear casing there so that is frosted over as you can see here it's still on the box so we'll put that to the side as you can see they did kind of feature this uh, special box um, it does come with this flat red with this kind of tan hits with the Nike and the swoosh on the front on the sides It's just your basically standard Air Jordan 1 box with just different colors It comes with the black with the tan and also hits on the bottom of that animal print that they were talking about um, On the picture that I attached above so nothing else too crazy on the box other than the color blocking to match the shoe as you can see, it does feature that shoe. Uh, I'm sorry, that uh, sizing tag there, size 10 and a half, my shoe size. So taking off the lid of the shoes, we have this paper that's kind of featured um, also with that animal print that they were talking about earlier. So you have that one, peel that back. You also have the typical white um, paper and the box inside here. And we do have the shoes right here so again starting off it does come with three laces it comes with kind of that animal print textured lace it has the black with the tan it also features an all red lace and as well as the all tan lace so i have seen pictures of the shoe with uh, the different color laces i'll try to put pictures up here that way you can kind of tell the difference of the two of which style that you would like so first off, you're gonna notice is this midsole. It's kind of bold, pops out in your face. It's got that animal print that they were talking about that's kind of the wildlife that they do feature there in Florida. So it does kind of have like that little, um, just it looks like a tiger stripe print almost, um, or a zebra stripe, even though they don't have those in Florida. But <laughs> uh, regardless, that's just kind of the pattern that it gives me um, those vibes. It also features this kind of um, rough textured red like nubug almost suede material um, it's not one of those that kind of color changes but still you know it is durable is what I think they're going for is durability but that is just a nice touch of color to add on that toe box pretty much else um, around the shoe is pretty much muted it's just got this black kind of textured nubug or suede here on the swoosh as well as the side paneling here and up on the laces as well 
um, back on the back you do have some more hits of that kind of textured animal print basically the similar to the front except instead of it being tan and black it's all done in that tan color that you see here and um, on one shoe it does feature the soul fly and I'll go ahead and grab the other shoe here so you can take a look on the back it features the Air Jordan similar to the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott Lowe's with the fragment design they have the Cactus Jack on one and the Air Jordan on the other this one does take the hints of the soul fly that you similar to what was on that frosted uh, clear cover cover of the box you have that soul fly um, logo there in the air Jordan on this side so nothing too crazy on this shoe pretty much identical um, on the tongue it does feature a nylon tongue and it does feature the Nike air with white with the red lettering um, another detail that I did want to point out here that's kind of it's kind of weird just because it's on the inside of the shoe so the medial side um, if, when you're walking it's going to be really hard to see but it does feature this kind of like pony haired swoosh here so that's kind of weird that they didn't choose to put that on the outside it's kind of a little hidden feature that's on the inside so that's really the only other kind of material that's featured on the shoe most of the rest of it is just that um, textured rough textured suede or new bug but that is another feature on there is that pony haired swoosh that they have there so something interesting you know not really sure why they put that on there but again it just kind of adds another dimension to the shoe and on the bottom you just have that traditional jordan one outsole and a gum bottom so um yeah the shoe is definitely one that's kind of seems like you can't just wear it casually this would definitely have to be one that you would throw on with something like some black jeans is really the only fit that i could see go on with these shoes is kind of you know muted out the outfit kind of keep it all tonal as far as like all blacked out and then just let the shoes do the talking for you so again that red uh toe box does offer you know a little bit of color blocking um it lets it the toe box stand out adds a little pop of color you know and it also brings out the little uh little tongue tab that you have up here with the nike air on it so again first images that i did see besides the private selection were the ones that travis scott posted um he was the one that posted them on instagram and of course you know they kind of everybody was kind of curious as to what the shoe was but then after the travis scott astro world backlash um that these kind of fell to the back burner as well so typically anything that travis scott puts on feet it just kind of goes to the moon um, the hype is just out of this world, literally, and uh, so anything that basically he touches just kind of goes crazy as far as resale prices. But again, after the, the tra tragic events that happened at Astral World, um, this shoe just kind of fell through the cracks. Nobody really cared about it. You don't really see it too much, and so it's pretty much going for a little bit over retail, probably like 50 bucks, 40 bucks over retail. So again, if there's something that you want to pick up, I do recommend getting them now. Um, as prices are starting to dip, as people are starting to get them um, at their houses now with the shipping kind of finally going out. So again, I do recommend picking these up while the price is on the low before they do go up. Um, again, it, this is a collab shoe, but it's not as hype as something like a Travis Scott. Again, the packaging and everything is there, you know, for a shoe like this to be, you know, a, a four or five hundred dollar shoe. But as of right now, like I said before, they're going for like 40 or 50 bucks above retail, which retail was 150. So that puts these at about 190, 200 right now. So again, these are a 10 and a half. I don't really need these in the collection. This is just a shoe that I don't see myself wearing that often. So I'm trying not to, to keep as many in the collection that I don't see myself wearing. So if you are a 10 and a half and you are interested in these, do hit up my Instagram, which I did link earlier in this video. So again, yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinion on the shoe. Is this something that's just too crazy for you? Um, it's just something you just don't care about. Do you even know who Soulfly is? Um, if this wasn't an Air Jordan 1, would you even pick it up? So let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Again, I'm always curious to see what you have to say. Please leave a like on this video. It really does help the algorithm on this video um, reach people's For You page. So, uh, or YouTube homepage, excuse me, this isn't TikTok. But um, anyways, let me know what you think about these shoes. Thank you again for checking me out. This is your boy, Mike T. Peace and blessings.